In this tutorial, we will see how to make networking calls in Android using Retrofit library. Retrofit is basically a type safe client in Android, which has greater uh, benchmark um, scores in comparison with other similar networking libraries. So let us create a brand new Android project. So while the project builds up, we will have a look at the JSON object response that we are uh, about to pass. So as you can see on the screen, this is the JSON object that we are about to pass. It's a JSON object response. So link to this uh, JSON response can be found in the description box below. Now that the project is built successfully, we can change the project structure to, to project in fact. Now we'll need to add uh, the dependencies required for uh, importing the retrofit library. So first of all, go to the official uh, retrofit GitHub page. Link to this page will be available in the description box as well. Here go to the download section. Copy the implementation part from uh, for Gradle actually as shown here. This is the dependency that we will require to import Retrovit into our project. So while you add the dependencies, make sure that you add it to the app level uh, built out Gradle as shown here. Don't add it to the project level build out Gradle. Add it to the app level build out Gradle file. Like this. It's seeing now. Just completed successfully. So now uh, we'll just jump into the coding section right away. create a function to make the network call hit alt and uh, so that it creates the shortcut for creating the method create the retrofit instance the base URL which will be the one we have shown before this one add it over here then we need to add a converted converter factory which is uh, the one which we are using in, in this project will be JSON converter factory which will be used to convert uh, the JSON data into java models so for that we will need to add another dependency to add uh, for uh, json converter factory so link to this so basically i will provide all the dependency required in the uh, description box below make sure to check that Add it over here, right below for the retrofit dependency. Once the import is complete, go over here and add JSON converter factory. Dot create, then build. Yeah, we have successfully created our retrofit instance. I will need to create a request interface like this. So 
copy this over here. Hit Alt Enter and create an interface, request interface. Now this is the look, uh, interface where we add uh, the retrofit get methods and all, which makes the call to the uh, basic uh, endpoints. Now we need to create a call using this request interface method. So we need to add a, um, a response model for uh, so that we could get the response uh, JSON into this particular JSON object. So suppose that we sample response it all tender so that we can create a POJO class for the same. Now, uh, now let's go ahead and uh, create. Now there is a free tool called JSON Schema to Pojo dot org, where we can directly create uh, uh, JSON uh, Pojos from uh, JSON responses. Uh, I'll provide the disc uh, link for it in the description below. Let's go to so go to JSON schema to pojo dot org and paste in your JSON response. Select all of the response code and paste it here. Now while you uh, click preview in the area in the in below the box in which we have provided uh, the, the JSON response, make sure that you have checked JSON for source type and uh, JSON for an annotation style. Uh, leave uh, the rest of it as a default. Now click preview. Now we can see that it has automatically generated a sample POJO for us. So copy the entire contents and paste it into the POJO class that we just created. Now that we have created the POJO class, we need to create uh, a method uh, that should call the um, endpoints. Let that be get sample response since it's a get request we are uh, giving it as a get sample response now click all tender so that we could create a miss uh, the method method in the same name it's a shortcut actually Now give the annotation as get and in the brackets provide the endpoint which we can grab from here. So make sure that you give only the base URL in the base URL section and the endpoint should be provided in the uh, endpoint section uh, in the get sample response method here. we can make 
the response and is success and failure callbacks like this like making a call to the method we can see that uh, it has auto generated two callback methods which will be invoked when um, uh, whether uh, success or failure response are hit accordingly we need some text views so that we could print the responses so first we'll go to the activity main file which is located over here uh, inside source main sources layout you can see that activity main is pressed here go to activity main and change the layout, uh, root layout to linear, linear layout then set its orientation as vertical create three text views like this Name it as ID, uh, user ID. Name the first uh, text view as user ID. The second as user name. And the, and name the third one as user description. You can just give you CSV. Now go to the activity file. And declare the three text views here as well. Similarly, create the other two text view as well. Now go to our um, respond on response uh, response callback method. And set the text views, text view content from the response which we obtained from the response uh, on response callback. The name as username, get name, and set the description as response dot rudy dot get description. Okay. Now make sure that you you have added. Uh, the internet permission in the manifest file like this so we uh, tag for the 
text view text view underline syntax Now try running the project so that everything works well. We'll be able to see the correct output. That's it, guys. We we'll have we have, we have actually correctly passed the JSON object response. So you can see that sample ID, sample name, and sample description has been correctly passed from the JSON object. Sample title, sample ID, sample description, sample name has been passed correctly. That's it for this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching.